Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. We have a new Chanel product to talk about and I am so excited to finally have my hands on this baby. I've seen it on the Chanel website for what feels like an eternity. And then we still don't even have these in Nordstrom stores. I know it's on the Nordstrom website, of course Chanel.com. I got this one at Macy's because I just couldn't wait any longer. So they're slowly but surely making their way out to all of the Chanel retailers, but they are of course available online. And I am of course speaking about the Rouge Coco Lip Blush. This has been something that has been top of mind, top of the list for a long time. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it looks very similar to the packaging of the concealers and correctors by Chanel. You don't have the gold band like the lip glosses, so that kind of signifies that this is a different product altogether. These retail for $30. They come in six different shades. It's a lightweight two-in-one lip and cheek color, which is so unique. Of course, you probably know a Chanel blush runs for $45, a Chanel lipstick is $37. So for this to be a lip and blush product for just $30, I think it's amazing. I think what they're doing is probably trying to make Chanel products more accessible to all. I think the price point is amazing. You could easily get more than one color without breaking the bank. And it is incredibly lightweight. The application is incredibly easy with this product. So of course, if you're gonna use it as a lipstick, it's got a creamy kind of matte finish, very comfortable and hydrating because of that coconut oil. But you can see the wand is pretty much a traditional lip wand. So no, nothing really out of the ordinary there. For cheeks, all you have to do is apply a couple dots on the apples of your cheeks and you can blend out with your fingers or of course a brush. One of my favorite types of brush to use is the Duo Fiber, which I actually even used the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush today. But any sort of brush and you'll just lightly kind of tap around and it blends out really nicely. Because it is a sheer buildable formula, you can start out pretty light and then you can really build up the color and build up the intensity relatively easy. The lip and cheek is incredibly convenient for travel. It's something that you can throw in your purse or travel bag and be able to touch up on the go, which is really nice. The price point is right. Like I said, $30 for a Chanel 2-in-1 product is really the bargain of a lifetime. I hope they come out with more colors because that would be maybe the one thing that I would hope that they would do is kind of expand their shade range. I wish they would add maybe a couple more beigey, kind of warm, maybe bronzy tones for the lips. But with the shade range that they do have, I think all of the colors are beautiful. As I mentioned, because it's a sheer but buildable formula, all skin colors are going to be able to wear each shade. So it really just depends on your personal preference. You could use it as just a cheek or just a lip. You don't have to do both, but it kind of gives that monochromatic look which has been so popular lately. 416 Teasing Pink is the color that I chose and that I'm wearing on my cheeks and lips today. It's something kind of unexpected that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards, but seeing as spring is right around the corner, I wanted to try something bold and also show you guys just how versatile it is. As a lip, it is incredibly hydrating, and as a cheek, I think it really does the job beautifully. The colors are Coral Natural. Orange Explosive, Tender Rose, this is Teasing Pink, which is the color that I'm wearing today. Rouge Captivant is a beautiful rouge shade. And then Burning Berry, which I was surprised whenever I saw this color. I thought it was going to be too dark and maybe best suited for darker skin tones. But I actually think because of the formula, any skin tone can wear any shade. You just 
can build up the intensity, but they start very sheer. So that dark berry color I think would even be beautiful on incredibly pale skin tones as well. You'll notice that the first two shades are kind of close to each other. They look pretty similar in the tube and then also on the skin. I would say that the Coral Natural is a little bit warmer than Tender Rose, but they are pretty close to each other. The Orange Explosif and the Rouge Captivant are very bold and beautiful. These would make great blushes, and of course, the orange, I love an orange lip on bronze skin, especially over the summer. All of these shades are really going to be beautiful going into spring and summer. They're very seasonally appropriate and so much fun to use. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below. Of course, I will be linking all of the products that I used on my face and all of these lip and cheeks down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.